the dance of life, relationships are the melody that can either uplift us to the highest of highs or plunge us into the depths of despair. Like a master composer, we have the power to orchestrate our love stories, ensuring they evolve into symphonies of enduring affection and understanding. Today, let's uncover the five secrets to revitalizing your relationship, drawing inspiration from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, the art of storytelling, and the timeless human pursuit of connection. Embrace the art of listening. In the realm of love, listening is a form of magic. It's not merely about hearing words, but about understanding the silent whispers of the heart. Yaguzi teaches us the importance of truly grasping human nature. By actively listening to your partner, you delve into their inner world, acknowledging their fears, dreams, and desires. This deep understanding forms the bedrock of trust and intimacy, transforming mundane interactions into a rich tapestry of shared experiences. Remember, in the symphony of love, listening is as vital as the notes themselves. Master the language of love. Communication in a relationship is akin to the intricate dance of words in a captivating narrative. Just as a story unfolds through its diverse characters and plot twists, so does every relationship through the words we choose to share. Drawing from Gaguzi's mastery of speech, adapt your communication to the moment, whether it calls for gentle reassurance or passionate declarations. Employ idioms and metaphors to enrich your expressions of love, making every conversation a memorable verse in your shared journey. Revive the flame with shared adventures, recall the tales of adventurers and explorers, their stories brimming with excitement and discovery. Integrate this element into your relationship by embarking on new experiences together. Whether it's learning a new skill, traveling to an uncharted destination, or simply exploring a novel cuisine, these shared adventures inject vitality into your bond, creating a repository of treasured memories. Like the twists in a riveting story, these experiences keep the narrative of your relationship both unpredictable and exhilarating. Cultivate emotional intelligence. The teachings of Gaguzi highlight the pivotal role of emotions in persuasion and connection. In the context of your relationship, understanding and managing emotions, both yours and your partner's, can pave the way for a deeper bond. Acknowledge your partner's feelings without judgment, offer support during their trials, and celebrate their successes with genuine joy. By nurturing emotional intelligence, you fortify your relationship against the tempests of life, ensuring that love remains the anchoring force. Commit to continuous growth. Every compelling story evolves, and so should your relationship. The principle of adaptability in communication, as espoused by Gaguzi, extends to the growth of your bond. Embrace change, encourage each other's personal development, and remain open to the lessons that life brings. Together, forge a path of mutual growth, ensuring that as individuals and as a couple, you are always moving forward, enriched by every chapter of your shared story. In weaving these secrets into the fabric of your relationship, you not only revitalize your bond, but elevate it to a masterpiece of understanding, respect, and everlasting love. Remember, the most beautiful stories are those that are continuously written, with each day adding a new line, a new chapter to the enduring narrative of your journey together. In the grand tapestry of life, managing finances stands as a crucial thread, weaving itself through the fabric of relationships with a persistence that demands attention. It's a journey fraught with potential pitfalls, yet rich with opportunities for growth and unity. This tale is not just about numbers and budgets, it's a voyage into the heart of partnership, guided by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative prowess of a modern-day storyteller. Picture this, a young couple, Emily and Alex, standing at the threshold of their shared life, their dreams vast and their savings, not so much. They're every couple who's ever grappled with the question, how do we navigate the financial waters together without capsizing our relationship? The first lesson from Gaguzi comes into play, understanding human nature. Emily is a saver, her childhood marked by thriftiness and careful planning. Alex, on the other hand, believes in living for the moment, a trait nurtured by a family that valued experiences over accumulation. Recognizing these inherent natures isn't about judgment, it's about acknowledging the canvas they have to work with. With mastery of speech, they learn to communicate their fears, desires, and expectations without turning the conversation into a battlefield. 
Alex learns to articulate his need for spontaneous adventures, while Emily shares her concerns about future security. Their discussions, once a minefield, become a dance of diplomacy, each step a testament to their growing understanding and respect for each other's viewpoints. The utilization of rhetorical techniques is where the magic of persuasion gently unfolds. Emily presents a compelling vision of the future, one where financial security enables freedom rather than constrains it. Alex, in turn, uses his natural charisma to paint a picture of life enriched by not just experiences but also shared achievements, including financial milestones. Discernment between truth and falsehood becomes crucial as they navigate financial advice from friends, family, and the internet. They learn to sift through the noise, identifying what aligns with their goals and values. This discernment extends to their own beliefs and assumptions about money, challenging and refining them. The role of emotions in their financial journey cannot be overstated. Money, often seen as a dry subject, is laden with emotional baggage and potential for conflict. Yet, by acknowledging their fears and aspirations, Emily and Alex learn to use emotion as a compass, guiding their decisions not just by logic, but by how those choices resonate with their shared values. Adaptability in communication sees them evolving their financial strategies as their relationship and circumstances change. They learn that rigidity in their approach can be as damaging as negligence. Whether facing an unexpected job loss or a sudden windfall, they adapt their plans, ensuring their financial practices reflect their current reality and future dreams. Alongside these ancient principles, the couple employs modern tactics. They weave idioms into their conversations, making the discussion of finances less daunting and more relatable. Saving for a rainy day becomes their motto, encapsulating their approach to building an emergency fund. Integration of real-life samples, such as stories of couples who successfully navigated financial disagreements or overcame debt, serve as both cautionary tales and sources of inspiration. These stories, shared during cozy evenings or while planning their budget, remind them that they're not alone on this journey. In crafting a life together, Emily and Alex discover that managing finances as a couple is less about the numbers and more about the narrative they choose to write together. Guided by timeless wisdom and a commitment to mutual understanding, they learn that navigating the financial waters together is not just about surviving the storms, but about enjoying the voyage, with its challenges and triumphs, side by side. In the dimly lit corners of a bustling cafe, where whispers of love and laughter dance through the air, I found the essence of a story that many have sought but few truly understand. It's a tale as old as time, yet as fresh as the morning dew. The quest to keep the passion alive in long-term relationships. Understanding human nature is the cornerstone of any lasting relationship. Deguzi teaches us that by truly grasping the complexities of our partner's needs and desires, we can forge a deeper connection. It's not about the grand gestures, but rather the small acts of kindness and understanding that fan the flames of love. Mastery of speech plays a pivotal role in keeping the communication lines open. It's not merely about what we say, but how we say it. The tone, the timing, and the sincerity behind our words can either build bridges or walls. The art of persuasion, as detailed by Gaguzi, isn't about manipulation, but rather about understanding and meeting the needs of our partner. It's about finding common ground and resolving conflicts with grace. Emotional intelligence is key here, recognizing not just our own emotions, but also empathizing with our partner's feelings. In navigating the waters of a long-term relationship, discernment between truth and falsehood is crucial. Trust is the foundation upon which love thrives. Being honest, even when it's uncomfortable, strengthens the bond between partners. The role of emotions cannot be overstated. Love, after all, is the deepest expression of emotion. By appealing to the heart, we can reignite the spark that first brought us together. Lastly, adaptability in communication is the key to enduring love. As individuals, we grow and change, and so must our way of relating to each other. It's about evolving together, learning new ways to express love, and being open to the changes that time brings. 
In weaving together these strands of wisdom, we find a tapestry rich with love, understanding, and connection. Keeping the passion alive in long-term relationships isn't a mystery, it's a practice. It's about returning, day after day, to the well of love and drawing from it with care and intention. From sparks to flames, let the fire of passion burn brightly, illuminating the path of love for years to come. In the dance of life, communication between couples often mirrors a tango, intricate, passionate, and sometimes a step away from a misstep. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, combined with modern anecdotes, this narrative explores effective communication strategies that can help couples navigate their relationships with grace and understanding, ensuring the music never stops. Understanding human nature at the core of any relationship is the understanding of each other's nature. Just as Giguzi advocates, comprehending the complexities of your partner's behavior and motivations is the first step toward harmony. Take, for instance, the story of Emma and Leo. Emma, a night owl, found Leo's early bird tendencies frustrating. It wasn't until they sat down, voiced their natural inclinations, and understood each other's rhythms that they could find a middle ground. This understanding is pivotal. It's about acknowledging the inherent differences and working through them, not against them. Mastery of speech. How we say something is often as important as what we say. Couples can draw from the ancient philosophy of tailoring speech to the occasion. A heated argument might not be the best time for harsh truths, just as a romantic dinner might not be the moment for airing grievances. Learning from Sarah and Tom's experience, where a misplaced comment about in-laws during a family dinner escalated into a full-blown argument, couples should aim to match their mode of expression with the context, fostering a more conducive environment for understanding. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, effective communication isn't just about exchanging information, it's about persuasion, about reaching the heart. Emotional appeals, logical argumentation, and ethical considerations can play significant roles. For example, when Maya wanted to move to a new city for her career, she didn't just list the benefits. She spoke to Alex's love for adventure, their shared goals, and the ethical implications of supporting each other's dreams, leading to a decision that was both logical and emotionally satisfying. Discernment between truth and falsehood in any relationship, trust is paramount. Distinguishing between genuine and deceptive speech, as Gaguzi suggests, is essential. Honesty fosters trust, and trust cements relationships. When Jack confessed his insecurities about his job to Nora, it wasn't easy. But this honesty opened a new level of dialogue between them, proving that truth, even when vulnerable, strengthens bonds. Role of emotions, recognizing and appealing to the emotional states of each other can significantly enhance communication. Acknowledging when your partner is too stressed to discuss important matters or understanding the right moment to share exciting news can make all the difference. Reflect on the time when Chris postponed a serious conversation because he noticed Jamie was overwhelmed with work stress. Waiting for the right emotional moment made their eventual discussion more productive and empathetic. Adaptability in communication, just as no two days are the same, no single approach works for every situation. Being flexible and adjusting your communication style to suit different times and moods is crucial. Consider the dynamic between Alex and Jordan, who found that while serious discussions were best had over a quiet dinner at home, planning for future adventures was most enjoyable during long car rides. This adaptability in choosing the right time and setting for different conversations played a key role in their relationship's health. In weaving the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi with the threads of modern-day stories, it becomes clear that effective communication in relationships is both an art and a science. It requires understanding, the right expression, emotional intelligence, honesty, and flexibility. Like Emma and Leo, Sarah and Tom, Maya and Alex, Jack and Nora, Chris and Jamie, and Alex and Jordan, every couple has the potential to choreograph their unique dance of communication, ensuring that the music of their relationship plays on harmoniously. In the dance of life, there's an art form that often goes unnoticed, yet its influence is as profound as the brush strokes on a canvas. This art is none other than compromise, a subtle yet powerful tool in sculpting relationships and fostering harmony. 
like a master raconteur weaving tales under the moonlit sky, let's embark on a journey to unravel the essence of compromise in love and life, guided by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative charm of late-night storytelling. Imagine, if you will, a couple standing at the crossroads of decision, their paths tangled in the web of daily life. One desires the tranquility of countryside living, while the other thrives in the bustling rhythm of the city. Here lies the first stroke of our tale, a scene ripe with potential conflict, yet also brimming with the opportunity for growth and understanding. Drawing from Gaguzi's teachings, let's delve into understanding human nature, the bedrock of meaningful compromise. Each individual's preference is rooted in deep-seated needs and experiences. The countryside lover yearns for peace and a connection with nature, while the city dweller finds energy in the chaos and opportunities of urban life. Recognizing these underlying motivations is the first step toward bridging differences. Mastery of speech, as advocated by Gaguzi, plays a pivotal role in navigating this crossroad. The couple engages in a dialogue, not of demands, but of aspirations, fears, and dreams. Through careful articulation and active listening, they create a space where vulnerabilities are unveiled and understanding blossoms. Utilizing rhetorical techniques, they appeal to each other's emotions, acknowledging the legitimacy of their partner's feelings and concerns. This emotional resonance lays the groundwork for finding middle ground, a place where both their needs can coexist, if not completely, then in a harmonious compromise. Gaguzi also speaks to the discernment between truth and falsehood. In the context of compromise, this translates to recognizing and challenging one's biases and assumptions. The city lover, for instance, might discover a newfound appreciation for the serenity of nature, while the countryside aficionado might find unexpected excitement in urban adventures. The role of emotions in persuasion is undeniable. The couple's journey to compromise is laden with shared laughter over past misadventures, tears shed in moments of frustration, and, ultimately, the warmth of understanding and mutual respect. These shared emotional experiences become the cement that strengthens their bond. Adaptability in communication is the final brushstroke in our tale. The couple learns that compromise is not a one-off act, but a dynamic process that requires continuous adjustment and open dialogue. They devise a plan to alternate between city living and countryside retreats, thereby honoring each other's needs while nurturing their relationship. And weaving idioms through our narrative, like walking a mile in each other's shoes, we enrich the texture of our tale, highlighting the importance of empathy and flexibility in compromise. Real-life examples abound, from couples who have navigated similar crossroads to historical figures who have mastered the art of compromise in leadership and diplomacy. In conclusion, the art of compromise, as explored through the lens of Gaguzi's ancient wisdom and the engaging narrative style reminiscent of late-night show hosts, is a testament to the power of understanding, communication, and adaptability. Whether in love or life, compromise is not about conceding defeat but about crafting a shared journey that is richer, more colorful, and ultimately more fulfilling for all involved. As we draw the curtains on our tale, let us remember that in the symphony of life, it is the art of compromise that often leads to the most harmonious melodies. In today's digital age, where our screens are flooded with curated portrayals of perfect lives, maintaining authentic connections seems like a Herculean task. The essence of genuine human interaction often gets lost amidst the cacophony of likes, shares, and comments. This narrative explores the challenge of fostering real relationships in the era of social media, employing ancient wisdom, idiomatic expressions, and real-life examples to navigate these treacherous waters. The ancient Chinese philosopher Gaguzi once said, Understanding human nature is the foundation of all persuasive communication. This principle is paramount in our quest for authenticity in the digital age. Social media platforms are designed to captivate our attention, often leading us to substitute superficial interactions for deep, meaningful connections. The art of persuasion, as taught by Gaguzi, can be a double-edged sword. While it can be used to manipulate and deceive, it also holds the key to unlocking genuine connections by appealing to the core of human emotions and motivations. Consider the story of Emily and Mark, a couple who met in an online book club. 
Their relationship blossomed not through the exchange of filtered photos or witty status updates, but through deep, heartfelt conversations about their favorite books. They skillfully navigated their communication, understanding that mastery of speech and utilization of rhetorical techniques, as espoused by Gaguzi, were essential in expressing their true selves. They shared their vulnerabilities and dreams, weaving a tapestry of trust that no amount of likes could replicate. The idiom actions speak louder than words holds profound significance in the context of social media. It's easy to post inspirational quotes or proclaim love and friendship online, but these gestures often lack the weight of tangible actions. Demonstrating care and affection through deeds, however small they may be, can bridge the gap between the virtual and the real, fostering connections that endure beyond the digital realm. Real-life examples abound of individuals and communities using social media as a tool for authentic connection rather than a barrier. Take, for instance, the story of a small town that rallied around a local bakery struggling to stay afloat during tough economic times. Through a simple Facebook post shared by concerned citizens, the community came together, not just online but in person, to support the bakery. This act of solidarity was a testament to the power of social media when harnessed for genuine human connection. In weaving through the intricate dance of online interactions, we must strive for a balance between engaging content and authentic communication. This requires a discerning eye, capable of differentiating between truth and falsehood, and a heart that values the role of emotions in forming connections. As we adapt our communication to bridge the digital divide, we may find that the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi is more relevant than ever. In conclusion, maintaining authentic connections in the time of social media is not only possible but essential for our collective well-being. By applying the timeless teachings of Gaguzi, enriching our narratives with idiomatic expressions, and drawing inspiration from real-life examples, we can navigate the digital landscape with integrity and purpose. Let us remember that behind every screen is a human heart, yearning for genuine connection, understanding, and love. In the hustle and bustle of daily life, it's easy for couples to find themselves stuck in a rut, repeating the same activities over and over again. The romance that once burned brightly can begin to dim under the weight of routine. However, with a dash of creativity and a willingness to step outside the comfort zone, rekindling that spark can be easier than you think. Here, we draw upon the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, integrating his teachings on understanding human nature and the mastery of speech, to explore some creative date ideas designed for busy couples looking to reignite their romance. First and foremost, understanding your partner's interests and desires is key to planning a successful date. This is where Gaguzi's emphasis on grasping human behavior and motivations comes into play. By truly understanding what makes your partner tick, you can tailor your date ideas to suit their preferences, making the experience more meaningful and memorable. One creative date idea is to embark on a mystery trip. The concept is simple yet thrilling. One person plans a day or evening out without revealing any details to their partner. This taps into the excitement of the unknown, a powerful emotional driver as highlighted in Gaguzi's teachings. The element of surprise can inject a dose of adrenaline into your relationship, reminiscent of the early days of dating. Another idea is to take a class together, learning something completely new to both of you. Whether it's a cooking class, dance lessons, or even pottery, engaging in a shared learning experience can strengthen your bond. This approach aligns with Gaguzi's principle of adaptability in communication. As you both navigate through the learning process, you'll need to communicate effectively, adapt to new situations, and support each other, which can deepen your connection. For couples who appreciate the art of speech and the power of words, a spoken word or poetry night can be incredibly intimate. Attend a local event or create your own private session at home. This ties back to Gaguzi's mastery over varied modes of expression. Sharing poetry or stories that resonate with you can reveal deeper emotional layers and shared values, fostering a closer emotional connection. Integrating real-life samples into your dates can also enhance the experience. For instance, recreate your first date or the day you met, paying attention to all the specific details, from the outfit you wore to the music that was playing. 
This not only serves as a nostalgic trip down memory lane, but also reminds you both of the initial attraction and connection that brought you together. Finally, never underestimate the power of a good old-fashioned picnic in an unexpected location. Whether it's a rooftop, a secluded beach, or even your own backyard under the stars, changing the scenery can change the entire atmosphere of a date. This idea plays into Gaguzi's teachings on the role of emotions. By choosing a setting that evokes a sense of peace, adventure, or romance, you're tapping into the emotional state of your partner, creating a backdrop conducive to rekindling the flame. In conclusion, rekindling the romance in a relationship doesn't require grand gestures or extravagant trips abroad. It's about understanding your partner, embracing creativity, and being willing to step outside the usual routine. By applying the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, focusing on understanding human nature, mastering the art of speech, and being adaptable in your communication, you can craft unforgettable experiences that breathe new life into your relationship. Remember, it's the thoughtfulness and effort that count, turning even the simplest of activities into a cherished memory. In the tapestry of life, two threads may intertwine so closely, their colors and patterns merging into a shared design that is both beautiful and complex. This is the journey of two individuals coming together, aligning their dreams and goals as a couple, and crafting a future that is not only shared but also deeply fulfilling. Today, let's unravel this narrative, guided by the wisdom of ancient Chinese philosophy and the relatable, engaging storytelling style reminiscent of late-night show hosts. The opening scene of our story might not be set in a grand palace or a battlefield of yore, but in the cozy, dimly lit corner of a cafe where two hearts, perhaps unknowingly at the time, embark on a shared journey. It's here, amidst the clinking of cups and the low hum of conversation, that the art of persuasion, as taught by Gaguzi, begins to weave its magic. Understanding human nature, the first lesson from our ancient guide speaks to understanding the complexities of human behavior and motivations. For a couple, this means listening intently to not just words, but also to silences, to dreams spoken with hesitant hope, and to fears whispered in the dark. Mastery of speech, communication, as we learn, is key. Different moments call for different kinds of conversations. Sometimes it's the light, playful banter that strengthens the bond. At other times, it's the deep, vulnerable sharing of fears and hopes that builds intimacy. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, the power of persuasion does not lie in manipulation, but in the genuine expression of thoughts and feelings. It's about convincing through logic, touching hearts with genuine emotion, and demonstrating integrity through actions. Discernment between truth and falsehood, trust is the bedrock of any relationship. Being able to speak and discern truth is crucial. Role of emotions, emotions are powerful drivers of human behavior. Understanding and empathizing with your partner's emotional state can turn a potential conflict into an opportunity for growth. Adaptability in communication, flexibility, and the willingness to adjust one's approach are essential. Life throws curveballs, and plans change. Being open to discussing and realigning shared goals is the key to moving forward together, hand in hand. Incorporating real-life examples enriches our narrative. Consider the story of Maya and Alex, who shared a dream of opening a bookstore cafe. Challenges arose, from financial hurdles to finding the perfect location. Yet, through open communication, understanding each other's perspectives, and supporting one another emotionally, they navigated these challenges. Their bookstore cafe, a cozy nook filled with the aroma of books and coffee, stands as a testament to their shared vision and commitment. As we weave idioms into our tale, we see that indeed, Rome wasn't built in a day. The journey of aligning dreams and goals as a couple is ongoing, filled with moments of joy, challenges, and growth. It's about weathering the storm together and emerging stronger, with a shared vision that is not just a castle in the air but a reality grounded in mutual respect, understanding, and love. In closing, the narrative of aligning your dreams and goals as a couple is not just about reaching a destination. It's about the journey itself, the shared experiences, the challenges overcome, and the joy of building something together that is greater than the sum of its parts. 
Let the wisdom of ancient philosophy guide you. Let open and heartfelt communication be your compass, and let your shared dreams be the stars that light your way forward, together. In an era where fleeting connections are often mistaken for deep bonds, the quest for lasting relationships has never been more pertinent. Enter the realm of the Love Lab, a narrative journey that melds ancient wisdom with modern science to unravel the mysteries of enduring companionship. At the heart of our exploration is the ancient Chinese philosophy of Gaguzi, a text that offers profound insights into human nature and the art of persuasion. By applying Gaguzi's teachings, we embark on a quest to understand the emotional and psychological underpinnings of successful relationships. Understanding human nature, the cornerstone of lasting love, according to Gaguzi, lies in a deep understanding of one's partner. It's not just about knowing their favorite color or dish, but grasping the nuances of their behavior and motivations. This insight is crucial in navigating the complexities of a relationship, allowing partners to anticipate needs, resolve conflicts, and foster mutual respect. Mastery of speech, communication is the lifeline of any relationship. Yaguzi teaches that different situations require different types of communication. Whether it's a heartfelt conversation to resolve a misunderstanding or a lighthearted chat to share the day's events, mastering the art of speech strengthens the bond between partners. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, persuasion, when used ethically, can play a vital role in relationships. For instance, convincing a partner to adopt a healthier lifestyle or to pursue a long-held dream. By employing logical arguments, emotional appeals, or ethical considerations, partners can motivate and support each other's growth. Discernment between truth and falsehood, trust is the foundation of love. The ability to discern truth from falsehood, as Deguzi teaches, is essential in building and maintaining trust. This skill ensures that communication remains genuine, fostering a safe and supportive environment for the relationship to flourish. Role of Emotions Emotions are the language of love. Understanding and appealing to each other's emotional states can deepen intimacy. Whether it's sharing joy in times of success or offering comfort in moments of sorrow, recognizing and responding to emotions cements the bond between partners. Adaptability in communication Every relationship evolves, and with it, the way partners communicate. Deguzi emphasizes the importance of adaptability, being open to changing the way we express ourselves to meet the needs of the relationship. This flexibility ensures that communication remains effective, regardless of the circumstances. But how do these ancient principles apply in the modern context? Real-life examples abound. Consider the story of Emma and Alex, a couple who credited their 25-year marriage to their commitment to understanding each other's perspectives. Or Jake and Mia, whose open and adaptable communication style helped them overcome a major crisis in their relationship. These stories, echoing the teachings of Gaguzi, illustrate the timeless relevance of its wisdom. In weaving idioms through our exploration, such as the stitch in time saves nine to underscore the importance of addressing issues early, or actions speak louder than words to highlight the role of emotional support, we enrich our narrative, offering readers both enlightenment and entertainment. The Love Lab is not just a story, it's a journey into the heart of what makes relationships last. By blending ancient philosophy with real-life examples, we uncover the science behind enduring love, offering readers the tools to build and maintain meaningful connections. In a world craving genuine companionship, the lessons from the Love Lab are more valuable than ever, guiding us toward relationships that stand the test of time. In the tapestry of human connections, relationships are the threads that bind us. Sometimes in knots that are hard to untangle. Yet, it is in the delicate process of untangling these knots that we often discover our strength and resilience. Healing together, overcoming relationship trauma, and building resilience is a narrative journey. Into the heart of overcoming the shadows cast by relationship trauma and the profound healing that can occur when we navigate these treacherous waters together. The genesis of every story of healing begins with understanding, a principle deeply rooted in the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi. To truly overcome trauma within relationships, it's imperative to first grasp the complexities of human behavior and motivations. 
This journey isn't about assigning blame, but about peeling back the layers of pain to reveal the vulnerability and fears that often fuel our actions. Like the skillful application of Gaguzi's teachings, this process involves a mastery of speech, where words become the salve that soothes wounds rather than salt that exacerbates them. Consider the story of Alex and Jamie, a couple whose marriage was teetering on the brink of collapse following a betrayal. The initial impulse was to retreat into corners of anger and resentment. But through the utilization of rhetorical techniques that appealed to their shared history and love, they began the arduous process of healing. Here, the discernment between truth and falsehood was crucial. Honesty became the cornerstone of their rebuilding efforts. By appealing to the emotions that lay buried under layers of hurt, Alex and Jamie embarked on a path of healing that was adaptable and tailored to their unique situation. The role of idioms in enriching this narrative cannot be overstated. Phrases like walking on eggshells painted a vivid picture of the tension that pervaded Alex and Jamie's initial interactions post-conflict. However, as they learned to build bridges through open communication and vulnerability, the atmosphere shifted. The idiom the light at the end of the tunnel aptly described the hope that began to flicker as they worked through their issues. Integrating real-life samples strengthens the credibility of this tale. Consider the healing journey of renowned author and speaker Breen Brown, who openly shares her experiences with vulnerability and shame. Her story, much like Alex and Jamie's, underscores the universality of these struggles and the transformative power of facing them head-on, together. This narrative, woven with the threads of understanding human nature, mastery of speech, and the strategic use of rhetorical techniques, underscores the importance of adaptability in communication. It highlights that overcoming relationship trauma is not a linear journey but a series of steps forward, sometimes backward, that gradually lead to healing. In closing, healing together, overcoming relationship trauma and building resilience is not just a story about overcoming. It's a beacon of hope for those navigating the murky waters of relationship trauma. It serves as a reminder that through understanding, communication, and a shared commitment to healing, resilience can be built and relationships can emerge stronger from the crucible of conflict. As Alex and Jamie discovered, the path to healing is paved with patience, love, and the unyielding belief that together, they could overcome.